This is an AGM-114 Hellfire missile. This is why it exists. The main contractors are Lockheed Martin and Boeing. A solid propellant rocket engine is 5.33 feet in length. 7 inches. In diameter. From 98 to 107 pounds. Subsonic speed. Platforms, SH-60B-HH-60H Seahawk, Navy, the Apache AH-64 Marine, AH-1W Super Cobra the MQ-1 Predator and Reaper are aircraft used by the United States Air Force. Shaped charge and fragmentation of the explosion. The Hellfire is a laser-guided, subsonic, air-to-ground missile with substantial anti-tank capabilities. As an air-to-air -air weapon, it can also be used against helicopters and fixed-wing planes that move slowly. The Hellfire missile may be deployed as an air-to-air -air or air-to-ground weapon. The air-to-ground AGM-114 is capable of delivering precise strikes on tanks, buildings, bunkers, and helicopters. The Hellfire missile is capable of destroying any tank currently in existence. It may be directed towards the target either by lasers outside of the aircraft or from within the aircraft itself. In FY98, Congress authorized $20 million for the acquisition of 100 AGM-114M missiles with blast fragmentation warheads and 100 captive air training missile CATM-114K missiles for training. The CATM-114K training missiles were delivered in May 2001 followed by the AGM-114M in December 2000. In FY00, an extra $20 million was set aside to buy more AGM-114K missiles to replace those that have been used up. In collaboration with PMA-242, the Advancing Prototype Engineering and Evaluation Apex, lab at Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama, exhibited the most recent modernized Hellfire technology for employment in close air support and urban missions. All services get modeling and simulation help from the Apex Laboratory, 